Hi guys, this is Dr. Marva. And this is Dr. Sparsh Gupta. In this video, we'll try to have a discussion about the laser focus approach for cracking the NEET PG 2021. And also we'll try to resolve some of the common queries that you have raised. The very first query that students are facing is what is to be done with the new pattern of examination because that's the thing which is buzzing in their head that they are supposed to take care of 200 questions in that same time frame. Well, I would like to look at it from a positive sense. You see, you are going to be doing 200 questions in three and a half hours. So you're getting an extra 20, 25 seconds per MCQ. That gives you a definitive advantage of having extra time to rule out a particular option. So I would always like you to look at the brighter side of every problem. As they say, every cloud has a silver lining. The second query which has been raised by our dear students has been, what is to be done since there has been no subject-wise distribution which has been given by the board? So my humble advice to you is that you need to stop the paralysis by analysis, which simply means that you have to stop overthinking about what is likely to be happening in the exam. You see, when you get a question in the exam, which is going to be a clinical based vignette, when he talks about the pharmacological treatment, some people may say this is an example of a medicine question. Other might as well say this is an example of a pharmacology question. So do not look at a particular subject with a narrow view, just develop a holistic concept over here. The other important thing that you need to understand is the you can identify the guy who's going to be appearing on your screen is our very own Anna, our wonderful cricketer from Tamil Nadu, Washington Sundar. I hope all of you remember what happened at Fortress Gaba. We were trailing at 186 for 6 and had lost all hopes of making it through. But then came this gentleman along with another important guy, Shardul, and they actually snatched victory from the jaws of death. Your situation is going to be quite similar to Washington Sundar in the sense just like this guy never had an idea when he went out there and in the middle of the field, the next delivery that is likely to face, whether it is going to be a short paced ball, is it going to be a toe crushing Yorker or is it going to be a bouncer which can straight away bump into his head? It was his preparation at the nets which decided the outcome. And just like him, you all are wonderful people. You have worked with grit. You have worked with determination. So your performance in the exam is going to be irrespective of the kind of questions that are going to be given to you at the time of the exam. Just to explain what sir said, you see what I mean by a short pitch delivery here could be a one liner MCQ that you can hook for a six. But on the other hand, it could be a rare topic which could be a bouncer. So it's better to leave a bouncer. At the same time, if it's going to be as sir said, a toe crushing Yorker, that toe crushing Yorker or a full length delivery is going to be same for everybody that can knock out the middle stump. So what I'm saying is everybody is on the same level playing field, but because you have worked sufficiently hard up in sub type ke deliveries ko, in sub type ke fast balling ko, is type ke aragla questions ko easily handle kar paoge and you would come out with flying colors. Query number three that I was getting from my lot of students was that should I be reading a new topic? Well, the answer is obviously a no because you don't need to make a mistake of reading new things because that's going to consume a lot of time and it's definitely going to create a fear factor in you in a sense that okay, I have this and this is not read. So what I want you to is consolidate your gains already because medical curriculum is so vast that you can't read everything. But whatever you have done, I just want you to consolidate that. I want you to have a bird's eye view, a holistic approach. What I mean by holistic approach is that what you have covered, at least that you can revise it well and go for the main exam. Reading a new topic would make you lose focus. It might paradoxically increase your anxiety considering as a high Highlighted. There's a vast ocean of subtopics in the medical field. And just to take care of your query with regards to a new topic or for that matter a particular subject that you haven't done, our humble tip to you would be that you can follow the gold standard that is going to be rapid revision for taking care of these topics or subjects as well as you need to practice the questions which have been asked in the last three years of the different examinations. Now the moment the NEET PG 2021 notification came, my phone was buzzing and my inbox was full with a lot of messages from my dear students regarding self-doubt. They were saying this simple one, simple straightforward question, can I really make it in NEET PG 2021? My answer is a loud yes. What sir means by a loud yes is that if you're going to be having an undivided attention with a zero wastage of time, that is exactly what we mean by the term laser focus. This will ensure a better probability of your being successful in the examination. Another query that I was getting from my dear students was that should I be giving more importance to one particular subject and skip an alternative one? Well, my answer is no. I just want you to read well what you have already done and I want you to consolidate the gains. You have done hard training already. You have been in 5 medical school. So you have done so training already. So you have done so much pattern. You will be able to do it. So let us summarize. 
what are the take home points from this discussion let's just do it practice mock test and grand test based on the new flavor of questions at a particular slot of the day out of your total study time devote 50% of the time to the theory devote 40% of your time to the practice of mcqs and the remaining 10% of the time has to be utilized for brushing up the images revising the footnotes and maybe the sticky notes that you might have pasted on your walls Point number two is to develop a holistic approach, and what I mean by that is, especially for the longish questions, you need to understand that there could be a hidden important point pertaining to the knowledge of pathology, pertaining to the knowledge of microbiology. So develop a bird's eye view of the different important topics, and I reiterate the fact: in case you still do not know how to do it, go for the gold standard that is rapid revision for the best preparation. When it comes to three or a four or even a five line or MCQs, there will always be some pick up points. There will always be some information hotspots. You just need to practice picking them up. And when you will do these questions for the first time, they might go wrong. That might result in despair. But आपको frustrate नहीं होना है. Just keep on hammering. Just keep on practicing those questions again, and your eyes will start going to the right option. And this is something which a lot of you have already watched our integrated sessions would appreciate that sir teaches it so beautifully well. Also, since you are already aware of the time that the exam is likely to take place in a post lunch session, this is really time for you to get into the groove of the day night cycle. As sir already said, ideal preparation would be that if somebody asks you to get up at two o'clock in the night, you should be able to take care of the exam at that point of time as well. But since now you are already aware of the timing of the exam, it is always better to develop that kind of a routine which is going to be most suitable for us to appear in the exam and give our best shot. also in the end i would like to summarize with the fact friends that it is not the adversity which is going to decide the outcome in an exam it is what is present inside you just to cite an example the same boiling water is going to soften a potato but the egg is going to get hardened so no matter how difficult the questions is they may be like boiling water but what is present inside you is what is going to decide the outcome of this exam bahut bahut shubhkamnaye and best wishes, wishes.